Today I'd like to bring you a guide on how to install add-ons for World of Warcraft without the need of having to use a download manager or client. Uh, by a download manager I mean something similar to like the curse client here. Uh, it allows you to uh, keep your add-ons up to date. You just click on them or you can say go here and you actually can go and find new add-ons as well. But I'm going to show you how you can do this without the need of using the Curse Client because there are actually some add-ons which are not part of Curse.com or WoW Interface, etc. So what I'm going to do here is show you where to go. First of all, you go to Computer. Then you go to wherever your drive is that you have World of Warcraft installed. For example, I have mine on C. I go to Program Files. I just have this uh, standard uh, installation for World of Warcraft. You find your World of Warcraft folder, and you go to Interface, you go to Add-ons, and here are all of your add-ons that you have installed. So. As you can see, there's Blizzard add-ons, there's the like DBM, this is Daily Boss mods, etc. All in here. Now, like I said, there are some add-ons which are not part of a download manager that you can use. So let's go and find one. Uh, one of the ones that I constantly get uh, requested about is my action bars and how I actually have my UI set up and I use the Elve UI client. So I'm just going to type that into the search bar and right here is the first one that comes up, Elve UI slash Takui. Click on that and here is Elve UI. So you can click on the change log here. You can see what has been updated uh, for each version and all you really need to do is click the download button it starts downloading here whoops I accidentally clicked it twice but anyway so you would open the archive here and I use WinRAR and says yeah I need to buy the license okay blah 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 and it brings up here the opened zip file now you're typically always going to find your uh, add-ons like this inside of a zip file. So what you're going to do, you need something like 7-zip or just use the standard Microsoft uh, zip program or WinRAR or something to open up these archives. So then what you do is you open back up your World of Warcraft interface folder right here and all you got to do is you grab all the folders that are inside of the archive and you just drag them over here to the add-ons folder and it'll start copying them and it will say do you want to merge this folder if you already have the add-on with the new ones that you have selected here so you'd say okay do this for all current items hit yes so now it's going to come up and say oh okay well there's already a file name in the same location now remember this is just going to come up if you already have these uh, add-ons installed. So what you're going to do then is say, oh, okay, well, I don't want to click through all these, but I know I'm updating, so I'm going to just say, okay, do this for the next 484 conflicts, because that's how many files are part of LVUI, and then I'm going to click up here and say move and replace. It puts them in there, and guess what? It's done. It They are inside of your add-ons folder, and they are ready to go for whenever you play. So that is how you update your interface add-ons without having to use a client. Uh, let's see here. You even can do it through uh, curse.com. Uh, let's go to curse.com. Let's um, go to World of Warcraft. Let's look at some add-ons. Um, let's see. Okay, recount. For example, I'm just going to pick one here. Uh, you can install via the Curse Client or you can select just Download Now. And when you do this here, it'll start the download and once again it brings up a zip file. And you're basically just going to do the same thing. It opens up. I'm going to get a warning again. Please purchase WinRAR. I know. Uh, and then bring up the interface folder here for World of Warcraft. 
You're going to grab the recount here and you're just going to drag it over. I like to just drag it over here to the bottom just in case I accidentally put it inside of one of these folders. I've done that before. And you just do that and you go through the whole process here again. This is for next conflicts. Move and replace. It'll And just keep doing this until it's actually installed and there you go. It is done, it has been updated, or it has been freshly installed. So, that's it. It's real simple, and I hope this helps answer some of the questions regarding how to actually install interface add-ons for World of Warcraft without using a download manager. So, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments, and uh, have a great day.